Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven, and this is Final Fantasy 16. We are in the planning stages on, well, basically heading towards the next Mother Crystal. But we need to find, well, first a place to land the ship. And on the other side, someone that can repair the Enterprise for the damage it sustained during our fight with Barnabas. So uh, let's go have a chat with Vivian for a moment. I'm sure she has an idea or two. Ah, Clive, I was wondering when you'd arrive. Please tell me you've come to take our young prodigy here off my hands. I'm not here for Mid. I need information on Ash. Then why not ask Molly if you can look in one of her ovens? <sighs> Go on. As soon as the Enterprise is ready, we'll be setting out for Drake's spine. And we're going to need a safe place to land. Preferably one that won't see my ship blown to shit and splinters. If it were that easy, do you think Walud would have resisted invasion for so long? Very little is known of Ash, and the information we do have is spotty and outdated. We have the good King Barnabas to thank for that. Walud's borders have been closed to outsiders since the day he seized the throne. If there is anywhere safe to land, you won't find it on my map. And tell us what we will find. I'm sure you know better than we do. But no splinters! All right, all right. If it will get you out of my hair. But interrupt me, and it's over. Understood? Barnabas Tharm. The one they call... The last king. Understand him, and you will understand the kingdom of Walud. Barnabas was only a boy when he arrived from beyond the southern seas, and barely a man before he united the ragged tribes of Ash. And having unleashed them upon the formidable Veldemark, he set his throne upon the ancient kingdom's ruins. The victory sent shockwaves around Valisthea. Tales of Odin's might spreading through every court, parlor, and drinking hall in the realm. Note that this was in the year 843, and that the king still sits upon his throne some 40 years later, quite untouched by time. Walud's recent inaction left many wondering if Odin had lost his appetite for war. And yet here we are. The Einherjar was committed to the fray, a bold declaration of intent. Orcs swarm around Drake's Fang and throngs of Akashic haunt canvas streets. Though how precisely the havoc they wreak serves Walud remains unclear. Regardless, if the order to attack truly came from King Barnabas, then one thing is certain. Walud has achieved the impossible and made bedfellows of beastmen and the ether adult alike. All of which is a roundabout way of saying that you will be in unknown territory when you set foot on Ash. Much of the continent has already been lost to the blight and what few ports remain will be fiercely guarded. And that is to say naught of its natural defenses. Offshore currents will cast an ill-equipped ship out to sea one moment, and dash it against the rocks the next. But then the Enterprise is anything but ill-equipped. And Mid has made land there before. Now, if only there were someone with an intimate knowledge of the Shadow Coast, and where a daring gentleman might put ashore. Hmm. Interesting. Is that where we you landed see, Clive, or we spent the night with Jill? You had the answer all along. Do you think you can get us back to that beach, Mid? Picked you up from it, didn't I? Not that it were easy. The currents were right bastard. But then, if it wasn't hard, it wouldn't be worth doing, would it? Well said. Thank you, Lady Vivian. If a few morsels of common knowledge and a sprinkling of tavern talk are worthy of your thanks. I wonder what genuine intelligence might earn me. Probably more visits. 
Mid, I need everyone in the ale hall now. I'll fetch Joshua from the shelves. Aye, aye, Captain. Is he gonna give a, a speech to everyone to uh, get ready for the journey? But yes, I think we are going towards the beach where he spent the night with Jill. And we're probably gonna make it through the blight. So we are partly unseen by enemy forces. Until we at least get a little bit closer to uh, where the Mother Crystal is. Alright. Let's see if Joshua has uh, learned anything rummaging uh, through the books. Well, he probably learned something, but is it something useful, something we can use against Ultima? I have no reason to assume other. Clive, you must listen to this. Lawsman, tell him. Do you recall when we spoke before on the divinity of Ultima? Well, it inspired me to delve deeper into the subject. And what I discovered appears to agree with the findings of His Grace. You will recall that my quest to uncover Ultima's origins began with the mural at Phoenix Gate. But while I've always known it to be important, its secrets have heretofore eluded me. Now, however, I believe I know where to find the more complete example. One that will reveal all we seek. Master Clive, have you ever in your travels chanced to hear of the Circle of Malleus? I would think not, if you have. But there was once a time when the faith flourished, the oldest known religion in the Twins. And though its popularity eventually waned on storm, hints of its dogma remain embedded in more modern faiths such as the Crystalline Orthodox. Wait, you said it waned on storm? What of Ash? Religious monuments are often torn down or repurposed when new faiths rise to prominence. But if no new faith arose, then perhaps the ancient temples might still stand. Mm -hmm. And so, you see now why I must accompany you to Walud. It would appear the past still has much to teach us. Though in this case, it would not have been possible without the musings of Moss. <laughs> to think that you carried a copy of my old mentor's chronicles all along. I am relieved to discover it in good hands. I shall guard it with my life. Joshua, if you're finished here, join me in the ale hall. I need to speak to everyone before we leave. Right away. Alright, so we're gonna speak to everyone in the A-hole. Okay, let's go. For a short while. Mid said I could ride the Enterprise next. No, she didn't. She said I could. My apologies. By now you've all heard where we're going and why. So I won't bother you with the boring details, only the important ones. If we attempt to approach Stone here by sea, there's a good chance we'll be sighted and fall prey to the capital's artillery. So instead, we'll disembark on the southwest coast and make for Drake's spine on foot. I say we, but... It's highly likely the entirety of Ash is under the rule of Ultima. A large party would only attract unwanted attention. As well as slow our march, and require supplies which may be difficult to obtain. Only Joshua and I will be going. And a scout. Preferably a good one. Gav, do you know of any? You bet your ass I do. I might still borrow some of Lady Vivian's maps though. Just in case, like. Once you've dropped us off at the Shadow Coast, you need to retreat into neutral waters, fly merchant colors, and stay inconspicuous. If you sense any danger at all, you leave us behind and return to Storm. Inconspicuous is my middle name. But like hell am I leaving anyone behind. The ship ain't going nowhere till your scurvy mugs are smiling on deck. Jill, 
The Enterprise will appear a tempting target for Royalists and pirates alike. You're to stop anyone boarding. Don't worry. I'll keep the ship and her crew safe. You'll be needing passage home, after all. But... Very well. If there are no questions, I'll see you all at the docks. Yes, we will see you there. Let me know when you're leaving. I want a word before you go. Of course. Is he seeing how hard this fight is going to be? And therefore he wants to have a chat with us, just in case it would be the last time we saw us? Could be. Alright, anything else added to it since we were waiting here? Yes it is. <laughs> Phoenix, heal thyself. So we have another quest uh, on here. Is there even more outside? No, just that uh, one healer quest. Alright, well, we know where Otto is, but uh, let's go to the infirmary first. Because like always, yeah, <laughs> if uh, there is a side quest to do, we always do them straight away. And I will walk the other side around just in case. Getting near Otto is uh, what triggers the scene, so... I will see you at the uh, infirmary. Alright, let's uh, sneak behind Otto. Like we said. And see what this quest is. And hopefully we'll be able to complete that before we... Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, it's in the back of the infirmary, of course. Please, Your Grace. My Lord Marquess. Mm, well, let's just say what she has to say before we accept the quest. It was the greatest honor of my life. Oh, to be appointed. Uh, Protector to his grace, I have served him in that capacity since he first began his journey across Velestea. The purpose of which was twofold. To further the Undying's knowledge of Ultima, and to further his grace's knowledge of you, my lord. After he learned of your survival, your brother insisted that we try to trace your movements. Thanks to the investigations of my fellow acolytes, we learned of your having taken the name of Sid. But now... Our journey together is at an end. His grace bids me to remain here and protect those you and he holds dear. So I bid you. My lord, if I might be so bold, please look after him in my stead. About the hideaway? Your companions are kind indeed. Everyone has been most welcoming. Lady Tyja has been especially gracious. Though I know something of the medicinal, medicinal arts, it is hardly enough to warrant the acclaim of one so skillful. I must admit. At first, I doubted that her praise was sincere. We on dying are trained in what few simple skills might serve us in the field, but there is certainly no praise for those who excel in such endeavors. But I see now. That this is your way. You encourage each other, that each might lend their strength to the cause, no matter how seemingly slight their contribution. Yes, because all those little extra things that people do brings us together as one very well well driven uh, hideaway community. All right, let's see what kind of quest we have. Phoenix, heal thyself. Yote, is anything the matter? You seem troubled. Perhaps I might be able to help. My lord. Yes. Perhaps you might. It's your brother. His condition continues to worsen, though he does his best to hide it. The lesion on his chest pains him more with each passing day. I had feared as much. There are certain elixirs which can ease the suffering of those afflicted by the curse, but... But? 
but his grace's case is severe. The drafts I have been able to prepare for him thus far have ceased to have any real effect. So I consulted with Talia and certain of my comrades among the Undying about the possibility of finding something stronger. And thankfully, a recipe was found. The only problem being that the critical ingredient is exceptionally hard to come by. And our supplies are almost exhausted. Unless we can secure more soon, your brother's anguish will likely become unbearable. My lord, I know that I have no right to make demands of you. But would you help? For Joshua's sake. <laughs> like you need to ask. Of course Clive will do anything for his brother. For Joshua. Anything. Thank you, my lord. So, what is this critical ingredient? A rare herb by the name of Stonerwort. It grows only where the ether is densest. The vigor it stores in its stems helps to counteract the curse. We discovered a patch near the aqueduct in Rosaria. But alas, yet more ether has erupted from the earth there recently, leaving the whole area flooded. The search continues for a new source. One that we might reach without being turned. So it's only that you can't reach it? The stone and water itself is unharmed by the flood. Well, yes, but... Then I shall go in your stead. Oh, but, my lord... You've yet to find another source, correct? So for now, the aqueduct is our best hope. Besides, I'm a dominant. The ether can't hurt me. Well, if you're sure, my lord. Stonerwort is easily identified by its blood-red blooms. Search around the aqueduct, and you're sure to find some soon enough. Oh, I'm sure I, I will. remain here and prepare the other ingredients. All right, let's go hunting. This uh, doesn't seem like uh, too hard of a request. I had only thought to ask for your assistance in finding a new source of stone award, but if you're sure about collecting it from the flood by the aqueduct, I should be most grateful, my lord. Well, we know what we're going to find there, because I'm pretty sure there's going to be things protecting it. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, get in there, see on the map where it exactly is, and run for it. I think from here is still the easiest bet. Just over the bridge, straight to the side. Alright, let's run! And let's just avoid the uh, other battles uh, as we walk past them. Uh, at least we know that we need to be on the other side of the bridge. That helps a lot. And this side of the feed out until we find an opening and then get through it. Is the aqueduct now to find our stone wart? Yote mentioned blood red petals. Of course, <laughs> Agigas. Well, let's uh, get rid of the smaller ones first. Just my luck. Yes, smash it to pieces. That will uh, do the trick quite nicely. Oh, and ice is so quickly recharged, I like it. Ow. 
That kind of hurt a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't matter how often you get back up, eventually I will get you down. There's a few more hits. Uh, let's take a little bit of distance. Come on, keep on swinging. See if we can find a flower. This fly right. Ah, there it is. If you bring enough of it, maybe they can grow it. All right. And hide away itself. Should do it. Let's get these back to Yote. All right. Let's get back to her. Uh, give her the items and I, and I can see why we get this quest before we go because he is gonna come with us and she has to stay here so if she can give him an elixir that can relieve him at least during the trip of course she'd want to do that and this would be the perfect time Jose, I brought back all the stone and water I could find will this be enough My lord, thank you. I'm sure it will serve us until we can find another source. I'm very glad to hear it. You and his grace are very much alike, you know. You think only of how you might help others, and never of the danger to yourselves. No more than you have, minding my brother. You've risked a lot for him, and I thank you for it. I am honored that you should say so, but I beg you, my lord, do not give too much of yourself for the sake of others. We could not afford to lose you. I'll keep that in mind. Well, let's be honest, that quality in him of wanting to help others beyond everything, that is what makes him Clive, isn't it? So I cannot give it up fully. You and your brother really are alike, my lord. Though selflessness is a virtue, I beg you, please take more care of yourselves. When we're done with Ultima, we'll take the time to uh, be better with ourselves. Because I'm uh, guessing the few things that are coming up is going to be extremely risky <laughs> for Clive once again, I'm sure. How can I help you today, Clive? Is everything we've received and everything promised? Ooh. All yours. Thank you. And nineteen hundred, so Thank this you. is gonna be a while. Is something wrong? Not at all. Honestly. Can't a man 
wish his friend farewell. Just wanted to let you know that I'll keep things in order while you're off saving the world. I'll hold you to that. Yeah, I think he's a bit worried about uh, what's gonna happen when he's over there. Because it's a really dangerous place and Barnabas, aka Odin, should not be underestimated. He is strong. And yes, we are getting stronger. We're getting better weapons almost every time. We will be at some point able to defeat him, but are we there yet? Maybe. But yeah, let's go to the Shadow Coast and make our way towards the crystal. The Western Ash. <laughs> the Shadow Coast. The land looks a little bit like from uh, Dead Stranding. <laughs> I don't know why. It just looks like that to me. Reckon it'll be a long walk to the capital if we follow the cliffs. I'll scout ahead. See if I can't find us an inland route. Clive. Mm. There's something I've been meaning to ask. You took her icon, didn't you? Yes, I did. She understood. Oh, she understood. Understood that you decided to save the world all on your own, and that you'd die without her power. How dare you make her choose? You knew damn well she'd never refuse you. But I will. You can't keep pushing us away, Clive. The world is ours to save, not yours. I used my gift because I thought it was the right thing to do. And you truly believe this will save you, will save us all? I do. And so be it. <laughs> Just don't forget, you're not alone. Uh, I'm sure he'll forget soon enough. <laughs> uh, did I miss something? Only that Joshua didn't. I uh, don't get it. <laughs> I know, just go with it, it's fine. But yes, to be honest, Clive didn't really ask for it. But he would have. He would have asked Jill and Jill would have definitely given it to him, regardless. The footfalls in Ash. And let's be honest, the end goal oh, is for us to collect to all Ash. powers. We're in Waluda territory now. Don't expect a warm welcome. I don't expect oh, that either. I don't know, Clive. That castle over there looks inviting enough. Shall we sample its inhabitants' hospitality? <laughs> if there are still inhabitants, because I have a feeling that all subjects to Barnabas are all Akashic or demons. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. But yeah, like we saw in the picture at the beginning of the game, one of the first murals about the entire situation and what we've learned throughout the time is that all the powers of all the dominant needs to go inside uh, of Clive. Only then will he be the perfect vessel for Ultima. 
but then comes the point that Oldma wants to take his body, but Klein will never give it to him. I think that's what the part comes that in order to have enough power to defeat Odin and of course after that Ultima we need all that power all the power that Ultima also wants it's gonna be very curious when we get to the point if and when we defeat Bar uh, Bar Barnabas we're gonna get his power of Odin and then the path will open up to Ultima I don't know how but it will and then we're gonna see how it ends up and it's it's going to be iconic, I'm sure. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, keep on walking, cause we have a castle to check out. Remember what I said about warm welcomes, Gav? Oh, this place is as dead as Greek as ghost. <sighs> yeah, so do we still want to look around for potential chests? That's the question. And there they are. I knew I smelled something. And that was burning away uh, all the small ones. The only orcs and a Kashik here. Let's hope the villagers made it out in time. Alright, so it seems that the small group here at least is gone. But there's plenty to uh, find a little bit further. So far, let's check here. It's mostly checking for items that I can potentially sell later on. And when we're done, we do want to take all of them down. Of the beaten path here, but is there something interesting here? <laughs> Just a bunch of sharp fangs, and that's it. Or did we accidentally go the right way because we needed to go around all the buildings? Ooh, ember, that's definitely special. And the only reason I know it's special is because it's blue. <laughs> it is like a higher rarity than the standard uh, grub we get. It is grey or green. And in the middle. Anyone understanding? Ah, there he is. It's all small fry here <laughs> that we're defeating, but... Really, you're still alive? Too. 
Yeah, not too shabby. All right, there's a few more checks to go before we reach the front door. Ah, oh, there has to be at least a bigger one uh, inside, isn't it? It cannot just all be uh, these small ones here. about that welcome after all, Clyde. Is there anything sentient in here? Or is it all just the same old Akashic? delegation we should send a warning to the others no my uncle will have an eye on the coast I trust he'll find a way to entertain any uninvited guests our mark is Drake's spine and there's a lot of road between us and it we press on to stone here hi you never know it might not be an Esther slaver and monsters <laughs> <laughs> it probably is though yeah, and we do need to press on. Clive, you must go on ahead without me. This stronghold is as old as Phoenix Gate, perhaps older. It may yet hide Ultima's remaining secrets, and if we are to best him, they must be unearthed. All right. Stay out of trouble. I always do. Mostly. You sure about this? About leaving my brother on his own? Of course. Mostly. <laughs> uh, let's hope he's fine. Just let not lo let this uh, bodyguard know that we did this. Because she would be pissed. Well, we did give her some elixirs just now, so... so old, it's hard to tell which way is up. But if I'm right, we're not far from a village called Eastler. Then we make our way there, resupply, and wait for Joshua. Yeah, and if Joshua doesn't show up, we run back, save him, and then we press on. It's a beautiful landscape, though. And I mean, beautiful in the way it's created, not because of all the lush environment, because the land is slowly dying. You can clearly see that. Ugh, this place reeks like a marble's asshole. Though I'm guessing it's not the smell that will kill us. Uh, no, it will be all the small fry uh, hanging around here. Yeah, for now I'm just ignoring the small fry around. Just trying to make my way to the next station. Well, if there is a village, of course. I think that's the first thing we need to try and uncover. I don't hear anything. No, no, no. No blue slimes. Ah, stop jumping. Yeah, go away. Run away.
And another waypoint. That's good. Make it easy to travel backwards and forwards if you need to. Don't look down, Toggle. Ooh, that's definitely far down. So let's hope nobody is going to break the bridge upon us. <laughs> That must be Estla. Just as dead as the other one. Then we're too late. Damn it. They're all turned. There's nothing we can do. Oh, we can ease their suffering. Say nothing. No quarter gap. Wrong. We're no them all in. Another mage trying to attack me. Yeah, you're just a bunch of dogs. Them come. Get as big a group together as we can. Wait, I see a staff. Oh, it's not a staff. Well, kinda. But it's not a major as I thought it was. How come you're still alive? Really? Just a handful. We can handle it. Oh, that's a little bigger than I thought it was going to be. down yeah I'm so much stagger left you didn't stand a chance I guess someone was out for lunch. Oh, I hate these ones. Their charges can be really annoying. 
It isn't over yet! Of course it bloody isn't! <laughs> much now. <laughs> back and let's annihilate it once again. gonna hit Enough. <laughs> enemy sling I think we got it <laughs> Or not. Gav! Don't tell me there's more of the bastards. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, not now. It's too soon. We're not ready yet. Have you come to watch, Odin? <laughs> Bound for stone here. Good. My master awaits you in the capital, though I cannot allow you to attend him in your present state. And how are you going to stop us? Why, with this! Come on, he's strong enough as he is. I sense a power difference. <laughs> I'm guessing he means by that that we defeat him and absorb him as well. But that is how we get presentable uh, for Ultima. Five. What 
Would you mind telling me what the fuck just happened? <laughs> oh, you've got to be. How are we supposed to get through that? We seek an audience with the king. If his majesty wants me to come and ask him... ...then that is exactly what I'll do. Before you go practicing your petition... ...we don't even know where the fucker went! How about we cool our heads and think this through, eh? Let's be honest. Maybe something here we can use. Let's, let's, be, let's be honest. He he will let us know where he is. I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, let's see. Well, I'm more interested in the waypoint, to be honest. I thought we got them all. So did I. <laughs> all right, that is good. But uh, before we start exploring, I will leave the episode here. On the next one, we're going to explore the area, see where we uh, need to be. How can we find Barnabas? Where is he sitting? Where is his throne? So we can ask him to open up to us and let us forward towards Ultima and the last Mother Crystal. But I have a feeling that in order for us to do that, we have to defeat a monster of his or we need to defeat him. Both probably a very tall order, but we'll uh, see that on the next one. So for now, I wish you a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and be back next time as we hunt down the king. <laughs> see you then. Bye-bye.